big mistake. Insides feel like maggot haggis. 
Guess that batch was a little too strong. Oh well, the next one will be better. It's like my father used to say, true progress comes from the crashing waves of a maelstrom. Of course, while my body was bending like a tree in the wind, I had time to think over the current formula. With a few modifications, I believe I can perfect the potion's results. Not quite. That batch allows for a traction of one Thunderbug. The one I tested allows control of exponentially more. Quite dangerous as you can see. Luckily, I arranged for countermeasures. Thunderbugs congregate in packs to feed off of their fellow's elemental energy. The bug you brought absorbed the excess energy, overwhelming me. I hypothesize the transferal of energy caused the Thunderbug to disintegrate. A pity. An infinite thunderstorm at your beck and call. Think of the possibilities. My concoctions will soon allow me to control the weather itself. As long as it doesn't kill me first. Who doesn't enjoy a good challenge, I say? I'd been traveling with a few Dunmer botanists. I tired of their obsession with Bosmer horticulture and struck out on my own. As soon as I had a run-in with one of the native Thunderbugs, I knew I had to stay. So much potential. Ah, this was my first real trial of a full-strength potion. I gathered a small horde of Thunderbugs, but the elemental energy was too much. The ensuing explosion threw me into the river. As you can see, my contingency plan was successful. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And it worked, did it not? Do me one last favor, will you? Don't mention my experiments to the locals. The last one I ran into wasn't as open-minded as yourself. Although he did make a good volunteer.